Welcome. Pleased to meet you. The name's Jocelyn. Want to know about my background? It's all what I'm asked these days, to be honest. Well, if it's all you're asked these days, then what do you tell people when you ask? I come from Haven in Valenwood. I have to say that I believe, from the bottom of my heart, that me leaving the tree-laden place was the best thing I've ever done. I'm a Breton, and I can't climb any trees to save my life. <laughs> Aren't you glad to be in Morrowind? Oh, certainly I am, because, um, well, I don't actually want to talk about it, but... Breton, you say? We Bretons are natural magicians, and born with a high resistance to destructive and dominating spells. Many great sorcerers have come from our home province of High Rock. Mm. Well, Valeno, you wanted to talk to me also? Well, Nighty, feel free to peruse my wares. I'm sure there's something with which will catch your eye. Well, what's your background, by the way? I've lived in Port Telvanis all my life. Unfortunately, I've freed some slaves, and the Parliament of Bugs forced me out of the city. I've been here since then. Oh, so you know something about freeing slaves. I also do want to free, you know, at least the Khajiit. Um, let's see if she has something interesting. She has no gold, and um, basically interesting. Fortify, no, no, that would be fortified in, in, in restore. Restore, not personality, restore health. Uh, I think I do have enough characters. Let's fortify attribute. Fortify magicka. I want to check if I can restore. Oh, nice candle and stuff. Oh, interesting. Oh, let me just, let me just uh, buy this off of you and then try to make a potion out of all that. Restore health potion, that is. And two. There we go. And we created a potion successfully. I must say. Mm. Speak Brother Silvani. Yes, sir. An adventurer. Why am I not surprised? Well, maybe because there's lots of adventurers here. What's your background? I was born and raised in the city of Blacklight. Nice city, but it's too cold. I'm glad to be here in Balmora, you know. Not too hot or cold, it's just right. What do you have for sale? At least someone who has some gold. So I can sell some things. Which, of course, means I am going to do this. And then speak to him again. Just because he not likes me more. First of all, there are nice books for story time. So let me see... Overview of Gods and Worship, definitely, from from the looks of it, definitely not in my possession. Reflections on Cult Worship. This book looks more like a rag than a book. Um, oh, the trouble is that I don't have access to the search box. Let me do this. And enter Cult. Nope, I don't have it. And the old ways, if I enter Old, this is not the one that I have, the old ways. Thank you. And now we have one Oblivion. Also, I'm going to buy those, all those books. This is so much story time for you. <laughs> Shield, restore health. Restore health on the ring. Restore health on the ring. Actually, seems pretty good. 10 points for one second. It's not much, but it will heal me. Uh, 40 to 60 points. I don't know what my magic does, but the scroll, this scroll I can remove. Uh, summon the scroll of healing. As, and come on, creature and humanoid. Nice. I need to check if this, if, if I can do a stronger open spell by now. Okay, but he should also buy these, uh, so I want to get rid of the ring. I want to keep the expensive belt. I can't wear any shoes, so I'm going to sell them. And I'm going to check which of these robes actually looks better. 
and I can sell one of these amulets. I need to check which one looks better because I can enchant them. Well, I guess that's it then. I uh, should use the Night Eye and Silence is not something that I... So I'm just going to give him a little gold, which makes him like me more again. I should try to use the repairing things to use up the repair crumbs. And learn something in the way. So thank you about that. And let's see where else we can go. So I'm first going to do the quest to go. So this is definitely... Okay, so here's another entrance, I guess, to the sewers. Yeah, the abandoned canal. So this is a place we should check out at some point. And this is where we came from. So, we can. so finally, after spending a whole episode in the sewers, we finally try the mission again. So let's do this. We get out here and head back to where we're supposed to go. I mean, I really intend to get the person to plug it. And what I want to do is I want to use my Firebite spell instead. Uh, that was up here. Nope. Up there. And I could also just go down here because there he is. Now he's running away. Let's travel together. Follow, follow me. So I'm not asking him about the notes yet. And let's save right after we increased our athletic skill. So I hope that the sound is good because I now have a new arm holding up the microphone. And this means that I can see all the three screens now, because before I had the microphone right between the leftmost screen and the center screen. I have three screens. I think I mentioned that before, but I don't know, so I'm just going to repeat it. I have three screens. Um, in the middle is the actual laptop screen, and to the left and right are two external screens. Where would you so, like to go? I would like to go to Sedanin, please. Uh, let me just make this non-blue. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Well, that's super nice from you, but I'm just going to go here. And now I see this guy. Wait for me. I'm waiting. Uh, fireball three. I'm going to fire blast him before. We get the ah! No, no, you don't need to fight. It's okay, I'm here. So Sedanin, the place where someone hinted what people did there. Let me just fetch the hound meat. I think that one was also a restore health thing. Some ingredients fetching. I don't know if in this game Fetching ingredients already levels alchemy skill, but um, in the um, successors it does. Let me really quick check if I can brew another restore health potion. No, nope. none of these ingredients has restore health, but I have restore magicka. <sighs> that was an expensive hard. Well, we will get in more. And let's see about the restorability. And nope, still we don't have that. I should read up on the wiki which items I need for that. 
because I can't remember such things. So basically, if we just try to walk to Balmora, we will pass by. Pelagiat. There it says Pelagiat, that way. So let's real quick take a little rest until we yield. No, you don't. You don't kill my the person I was I'm supposed to look after. And so we walk on. So this is my normal walking speed. This is actually me already running Pelagiad that way. The nice scenery we have. Remember Pelagiad was one of the first quests that we did. It was where we had this um, this woman who said um, a bandit mugged her and she fell in love with him. That was in Pelagiad where the bandit was living or staying. And I think we should still be on the right way. We are, we are just passed by it. I think this should be the entrance, the back entrance, something like that. Yeah, there, it, there is the town and this is the back entrance to the town. So was that too hard? Taking the silt strider and walking over? I mean, mostly. And there we are, Pelagiad, as, as you can see. And he wants to go into the tavern, if I'm not mistaken, which is here. Thank you. See, we just did this. Thank you for taking me to Pelagiad. You're an excellent guide. Okay, now first of all, I got some books which I'm going to, which I'm going to um, add to the story time list. Uh, oh no, since the list is okay, yeah, I'm going to do it afterwards. I still can see all the things that are already recorded. So let us. Ask how about traveling together? I have no interest in seeing the rest of Vardenfell, but I appreciate your offer. Well, um, I've heard that you have some notes. Um, could you show them to me? You've been very gracious to escort me to Pelagiad, and you show great promise for a conjurer. Thanks. I've never met anyone with such enthusiasm for my research. Take this copy of my notes as a sign of gratitude. See, we didn't need to kill him. Let's check out the notes. notes. The variable flow of daedrons in oblivion streams can have profound effects on the magicka potential of various locations. Magicka use often causes effects on the streams themselves. By reconfiguring the polarity of the daedron fields, it is possible to manipulate and trace the streams in the following cases. The notes go on about this subject for some time. To be honest, the only reason I actually read them was because I hoped that ah, come on then, say something or move on. I'm going to move on. That I hoped that they will actually increase my conjuration skill. <clears throat> and there's a trader. I'm going to check if I can sell some Any stuff. Anytime. Hello, ma'am, sir. I can't see it properly. I am too fast to just click away things. Um, to see what I have here. Okay, let's check. Do you sell, buy this stuff? Yes, resist potion, water walking. I don't need that. I'm trying to levitate. So this is this is interesting. Restore attribute strength. Um, fortify attribute. Fortify attribute is not interesting. Restore fatigue. Just going to sell this again. Uh, fortify attribute, resist poison. This is just train attribute, the copra's meat. Water breathing, nope. 
drain attribute and detect key, drain attribute and uh, levitate, drain magicka, drain magicka. So I can't use poisons in this game. Um, fortify attribute and cure poison, and drain attribute and fortify health. Restore strength, that's good. Restore willpower. Mm, I actually don't need that one. I would need restore strength is something that I need. And um, so I can make a restore strength potion again. And um, I need agility because I'm low on agility. Do you take that bottle, by the way? Thank you. I should have charmed them before, but still. A burned out torch and a torch. I don't need these. I just want to get rid of them. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you. All right. Goodbye. I'm listening. So What's this now about? we can go to the nearest temple. Which is the one in Vivek. Well, anyways. Um, let me just real quick update the quest, though. Update the quest for... That was Renus Ephris. Get notes from Timurel. Report back to Renus Ephris. Which is in Bomora. Okay, so let us check. Let us check Vivek. Um, I can ask for the mysterious killer. Oh yes, I checked some things. So um, remember we healed that. Uh, let me real quick check the quarters and Delnis right here. That, um, we healed that. Um, that guy we talked to, that invisible guy, who um, who was stupid, and um, you, you remember we delivered the money to, to, for that he was owing to the uh, to the alchemist or to the magician, and I actually just forgot that we were supposed to check back with their father. I'm just going to that was that was a shop in the main district of St. Delon. That's why I went here. So we can wrap up citizen. these quests. Well actually I'm not a citizen of Vivek, but um, yeah, citizen of Fardenfell, yeah, that's true. St. Delon Plaza, and it was one of the shops here, class worker. I think it was that one because I remember it was turned by 90 degrees. So I'm now going to Quit. talk. Is that turver driven? Quit play out, Landa. No. I haven't much time. That was not the one. Lucretinaus. Lucretinaus. Potrasol. There he is, Lucretinaus. What do you want? Well, about Cassius Alcinius, that's that's the name. I see that you've paid the debt my son owed. I thank you for your help. Here's a reward for your offers, uh, efforts. That was what I wanted to do. And then if we're in the foreign plaza, we can ask Let's the hear. guild steward here the, from the Mages Guild. So let's head downstairs, shall we? Just do a quick. I'm a kitty cat after all. It does hurt, but it also trains us. And now let me see. There should be a boat. And there should be a boat. Boat, 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 boat. Not here. It's not here. It is north. And then I can also just go back to the temple. There is one. Take the boat to the foreign quarter, and we can go on. Without 
ask Trebonius, the actually the boss of the major skill for duties. And we can um, confront the guy who hands out the leaflets slandering um, I forget the name. Um, I think it was it was Orana Frerik, I don't know, it was some um, some um, what she calls herself, herself an apothecary, however you pronounce this word. Um, it was some alchemist who gets slandered, and I should confront that person with. Uh, so I'm just going to click that one, and I want to go to well, anywhere actually, Telvani, and then from there to the foreign quarter. And when we're there, we can also check if Wait, maybe I because I know that there were there were killings not just where we asked around, but there were also killings in the foreign quarter because. Uh, so maybe someone there, just to do this. Maybe someone there knows about the killer. But first, we go, as I said, to the plaza. And with our charm spell, it should be very easy to just confront that person and get the information out of them. So I was talking about the new microphone arm. I got the new microphone arm, as I said. I now can see um, the screens, but not just that, the microphone is also in theory out of the camera image. And now the next step that I need to do is put some um, audio insulation on the ceiling because the microphone is now hovering right above me onto the ceiling, which should also make the, this is the waste works, so well, let me just do well, in, on the inside. Um, which should make the sound better. So I'm curious about that. I think there is some hall effect missing now. So there is, here is a guy handing out, I think it was a guy, handing out leaflets. I guess he would not attack us. Um, Anytime you're ready, just don't keep me waiting. Let me just use that one. Do you need another, uh, um, do you need, yes, do you need another leaflet? Well, about these leaflets, actually, what about it? These are all lies. Furness is an honest woman. Listen, friend, times have been tough for me and mine. So when Balon offered me some gold to hand these out for her, I jumped at the chance. Gotta make bands meet, you know. Balon makes the leaflets. I just distribute them. Balan, you say? Right. Galuro Balan. She's an apothecary. Apothecary? Apothecary? Well, over in the Telvani section. I don't think her business is doing well right now. Thanks about that information. What are you going to do about the leaflets? Well, I'm just going to hand these out until Balan stops paying me. I've got nothing against Furnace, but she's not paying the bills. Well, actually... Sweet he is understandable. Well, thank you. Oh, no. oh, but actually, may each day greet you warmly, friend. Other people like me. Have you seen a woman with a dagger? A Dunmer, a Dunmer woman in a skirt and natch leather armor, with a dagger. No, I haven't seen anyone like that, but I recall someone, maybe one of the sewer cleaners, saying something about seeing a Dunmer woman down in the underworks. Not that odd, really, though, though Dunmer are not seen as much in the foreign quarter, but in the underworks. That sort. Nothing down there but rats and sewers. Okay, the sewers. Hmm, interesting. But first, let's ask old Trevonius Speak, traveler. for a quest, won't we? Guild of Mages. Do you have something to say, Outlander? No, not really. I just want to check if there is some restore. Boom. Willpower, 45 willpower, no. Special floor of Tamriel, I already have that one. And the Book of Daedra, I think I already recorded that one, didn't I? 
have won the origin of the major skill multiple times now. That's something I should do it like so, so I can uh, Daedra, the spirit of the Daedra, the book of Daedra. I'm going to get that one too. There we go, thank you. Let us first of all sleep in a bed until we're healed. Oh, nice and well rested. We can check on the Tribonius. I think he was here. That was him. Yes. What can I do for you, Conjurer? Well, what can you tell me about House Telvani? You belong to House Telvani, do you not? Where do your true loyalties lie? House Telvani opposes or every effort at modernizing the way magic is practiced here in Bardenfell. Well, do you have any duties for me? <laughs> duties, you say? Yes, there are several things the major skill needs done. Let's see. Um, find out about the disappearance of the dwarves. Yes, that's an excellent task for you, Conjurer. Doesn't really sound like an honest task. I think he just tells that to me to go away, especially since I'm House Telvani. Well, what do you know about the dispute? What can, can you give me any like, hints as to where to start? <sighs> it's a simple task, surely. Just go to some ruins and um, find out what happened to them. Maybe some people here in the Mage Guild can give you some clues. Well, thank you, I guess. Yeah, when, when I... See, when I, when I asked him about duties, he just said he doesn't even know what he asked me to do. So he's, he's so living in his ivory tower that he doesn't even know what tasks he hands out. Honestly, why should my loyalties lie with the Mages Guild? Um, why not talk to Edwina? Yeah, of course. Please, um, by all means, I'm listening. No, you're not. Well, then, then let me head to the Underworks. Let me first update my quests, shall we? So, Trebonius, Trebonius asked me to find out the disappearance of the dwarves. I asked him for duties in Vivek, and he said maybe check with Edwin or ask Edwin about dwarves. And that one would be in Ald Rune. There we go. And since we're here now and we now know about the pillar maybe being in the sewers, we're going to check that out. Invocation of Azura by Sigilla Parade. For 300 years I have been a priestess of Azura, the Daedric priestess of Moonshadow, Mother of the Rose and Queen of the Night Sky. Every Hogethum which we celebrate of the twen every Hogethum which we celebrate on the 21st of the first seed, we summon her for guidance, as well as to offer things of worth and beauty to her majesty. She is a cruel but wise mistress. We do not invoke her on any Hogathum troubled by thunderstorms, for those knights belong to the Mad One, Shiogorath, even if they do coincide with the occasion. Azura, at such times, understands our caution. Azura's invocation is a very personal one. I've been priestess to three other Daedric princes, but Azura values the quality of her worshippers and the truth behind our adoration of her. When I was a dark elven maid of sixteen, I joined my grandmother's coven, worshippers of Molag Bal, the Schema Princess. Blackmail, extortion and bribery are as much the weapons of the witches of Molag Bal as is dark magic. The invocation of Molag Bal is held on the twentieth of Evening Star, except during stormy weather. This ceremony is seldom missed, but Molag Bal often appears to her cultists 
in mortal guise on other dates. When my grandmother died in an attempt to poison the air of Firewatch, I re-examined my faith in the cult. My brother was a warlock of the cult of Buithia, and from what he told me, the Dark Warrior was closer to my spirit than the treacherous Molagbal. Buithia is a warrior princess who acts more overtly than any other Daedroth. After years of skulking and scheming, it felt good to perform acts for a mistress which had direct, immediate consequences. Beside, I liked it that Buithia was a Daedra of the Dark Elves. Our cult would summon her on the day we called the Gauntlet, the second of sun's dusk. Bloody competitions would be held in her honor, and the duels and battles would continue until nine cultists were killed at the hand of other cultists. Buithia cared little for her cultists, she only cared for our blood. I do think I saw her smile when I accidentally slew my brother in a sparring session. My horror, I think, greatly pleased her. I left the cult soon after that. Buithia was too impersonal for me, too cold. I wanted a mistress of greater death. For the next 18 years of my life, I worshipped no one. Instead, I read and researched. It was in an old and profane tome that I came upon the name of Nocturnal. Nocturnal, the Night Mistress. Nocturnal, the Unfathomable. As the book prescribed, I called to her on her holy day, the third of Hearthfire. At last I had found the personal mistress I had so long desired. I strove to understand her labyrinthine philosophy, the source of her mysterious pain. Everything about her was dark and shrouded, even the way she spoke and the acts she acquired of me. It took years for me to understand the simple fact that I could never understand Nocturnal. Her mystery was as essential to her as savagery was to Wethia, or treachery was to Molagbal. To understand Nocturnal is to negate her, to pull back the curtains cloaking her realm of darkness. As much as I loved her, I recognized the futility of unraveling her enigmas. I turned instead to her sister, Azura. Azura is the only Daedra princess I've ever worshipped who seems to care about her followers. Molagbal wanted my mind, Buithia wanted my arms, and Nocturnal perhaps my curiosity. Azura wants all of that and our love above all. Not our abject slavering, but our honest and genuine caring in all its forms. It is important to her that our emotions be engaged in her worship, and our love must also be directed inward. If we love her and hate ourselves, she feels our pain. I will, for all time, have no other mistress.